Hey, it's Rocky here from SpeakSpanishFaster.com and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the differences between tú y usted. So, usted is formal, tú is you. So, they both mean essentially the same thing. They both mean you. So, if I'm talking to you, I can say tú or I can say usted. Now, um, the, the biggest problem that a lot of people have is one, knowing when to use which one. All right, so usted is formal. And let's say, okay, if you're at work or something and the first time you meet your boss, this, this is the best way to explain it. The first time you meet your boss, you don't know him that well, but you know he's a person of power, even if he's not of power, but the first time you meet your boss, um, and he's clearly above you, it's your first day at work, it's better if you address him, we would say, as usted. Formal, it's respect, it's, it's kind of like a respect thing. But then over time, as you get to know your boss better, your boss becomes tú instead of usted. Now, of course, you can still use usted, but the closer you guys get, it's not a requirement that you use the word usted and you can use tú. So tú, usted, you, you, same thing. Again, they mean the same thing. It's just the situation that you want to use them in. Um, so another example, to your mom, you might say usted. So when you address her, talking to her, let's say, um, are you going to the store? So usted va para la tienda. Are you going to the store? To, to your mom, you could say usted va para la tienda or to your grandma, tu abuela, you could say, oiga abuela, usted va para la tienda? Are you going to the store? Now, if I'm talking to maybe my sister, mi hermana, then I would use tú. So remember when you use tú, the verbs change, right? The form of the verb you use change. So when I said to my grandma, I said, oiga, usted va para la tienda? Preguntando, asking her, ¿Usted va para la tienda? Are you going to the store? ¿Usted va? Now, when I use the tú form, it's a different conjugation. It's the you conjugation. So when I'm talking to my sister, I don't say oiga, I say oye. Because that is the command. Oiga, oye is for tú, the tú command. And then oiga is the usted command for listen or um, hear me out, you know. Oye, tú vas para la tienda? Are you going to the store? So same exact question, saying the exact same thing, but because it's the usted form in one scenario, the words are different versus the other scenario. The reason why this is important to learn is because somebody can be saying the exact same thing to you, but one is going to sound different than the other, because of the simple fact that it's a different form, but they mean the same thing. So again, it's just formal, but essentially it means the same thing. Grandma, are you going to the store? I could literally say, Oye, abuela, tú vas para la tienda? Or, oiga, abuela, usted va para la tienda? Same exact thing being said there, or same exact meaning there, but different words being said. So that's why it's important for you to, to learn um, both forms, the tú and the usted. And remember, when you're looking at conjugation, so remember, you have the yo form, the I form, you have the tú form, the you form, and then you have el, ella, usted. Those three are in the same exact category. So any word that is used for el and ella, so him and her, is used for usted. So let's do another example. So um, you could say Hablas, let's just say you talk. Hablas, let's just use the word hablas. Um, or let's say you talk to your mom. Tu hablas con tu madre. So tu hablas con tu madre. If we use usted, it's usted habla con su madre. So we're changing, again, the, the words here. Usted, we're using the conjugation of usted, of hablar. Not the yo form, not the tu form, but the 
usted form is the same as el habla, ella habla, usted habla. So we cut the S off. Usted habla con su madre. Remember, not tu madre, because su, again, tu, your, is for the you form. Mi is for yo form. Mi, yo, mi, yo. Mi casa, mi casa is my home. Tu casa is your home. Su casa is his home, her home, or your home in the, in the usted form. All right, so it's very, very important to really learn um, these differences. Now, another big reason why people have trouble, and it's really because natives present this problem, especially to non-native speakers, because for instance, if I'm talking to somebody, even when I use the you form, so let's say, tu hablas con tu madre, because I'm Puerto Rican and we cut the words, a lot of correct, I mean, pretty much the majority of Spanish speaking countries cut some of the words, especially the S's. It's just like if you're in the streets and you're talking informally to somebody, a lot of times they will cut the words. And this is why non-native speakers get confused um, of which form to use. Because if I say, tu hablas con tu madre, the real way I would say it is, tu hablas con tu madre. So it's, I'm saying habla because I cut the S. And of course, a native speaker is going to be able to understand that's the proper form or the forms are really don't even matter. But I'm still saying, oh, yeah, tu habla con tu madre. So I'm saying, tu hablas con tu madre, but I just cut the S. So it ends up being tu habla, which is really incorrect. But again, when you're speaking and um, when natives are speaking, we cut words, we uh, put words together. And yeah, so that's the biggest reason why a lot of people kind of get lost in the translation, why they don't understand um, the difference or different conjugations and stuff. But again, the key thing to remember with tu and usted. Usted is formal. Boss, mom, grandma, just think formal usted. If you're meeting somebody for the first time, um, if, it's a real, if it's a formal setting, you might want to use the usted form. The tu form can pretty much be used a lot of places. So once you understand the formal and the non-formal, um, you pretty much have to make that decision. There's no like, um, there's no clear code way to, to separate what's formal and what's not formal. You have to use your own judgment there. But like if my girlfriend's introducing me to her parents for the first time, I'll probably use the usted form. Um, because it's a sign of respect uh, and it's formal. Um, now, once you find your differences or find the difference between formal, what's not formal, the next thing you need to do is learn the proper conjugation for those um, words for usted. So it's very simple. If you know basic conjugation, usted is always el and ella form. Tu is the tu form. So vas is tu vas. Tu vas, so ir, voy, vas, va, voy, vas, va, voy is yo form, vas is tu form, va is el, ella, in usted form. So usted form is always the third person. Um, so that's pretty much a simple way to remember it. The good thing is the usted form is always third person. So it's no matter the conjugation, whether you're working with preterite, imperfect, um, present, whatever, it's always that third person. So if you know el and ella form, then you will know the usted form. So again, practice that. Uh, if you're just beginning Spanish, mainly focus on the tu form because that's what you're going to mostly hear. All right, usted form, I will say like when I'm talking to my friends or to my grand, even to my grandma, I just call her tu. <laughs> uh, not saying I don't respect my grandma or anything, but like, I just don't use the usted form that much. I always use the tu form. And I would say you can get away with that, especially if you're a non-native speaker. Natives will know if you're a non-native speaker and they won't look at you any bad way if you don't use the usted form. So um, definitely focus on the tu form first and then move to the usted form if you like, but really try to master the tu form. And, and again, I don't use the, tu, the usted form that much and I don't hear it that much like amongst my friends or even if I'm at a business meeting or anything like that you're you don't hear the usted form that much like 
if we follow the 80-20 rule where it's, yo, we need to be ready for 80% of what we hear, I would say 80% of what you're going to hear is the two form, 20%, maybe 20% usted form. So prepare yourself for the 80% of the time. The 20%, you can work on it in the future. Um, but main thing, master the two form because that's how, especially in beginning conversation, it's going to be me and you talking or you talking to somebody else. And you're going to be addressing a lot of the people with do. Um Sabes donde está el baño? Do you know where the bathroom at is at? Um, again, you could use a usted form, but stick to two. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. 80% rule, 80-20% rule here. Um, use the two form for the most part, and I think you will be good to go. And if this video helped you out and you want more Spanish training, you want to take your Spanish to the next level, I'll show you the unique method that we use to help people speak Spanish faster. I have a free on-demand training for you. It's called Lost in Translation. It's a free training for you where I walk you step-by-step -step on how you can really improve your Spanish. It's Again, it's a unique method. You won't find it in any of the language apps that are out there. They don't teach you this method in school. But um, I want to show you the, the method today so you can start learning Spanish better. If you want access to that, all you have to do is click the first link in the comments. I'll pin it there. Um, click that link. It'll take you to a page. I just asked you for your first name and your email. You put in your first name and your email, and I will instantly send you over access to that Lost in Translation training, which, like I said, is really going to help you decipher, decode Spanish so you can comprehend it better and so you can start speaking better. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up for me. Comment below. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. I'm here to help you out. So anything Anything I can help you with, please let me know, whether it's numbers in Spanish or other conjugations, different verb, I don't know, whatever you need help with, that's why we created this channel to help you out. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.